Today we will be talking about the moon jellyfish and this project is by Dehan Jump, Wheeler Brazil, and Leah Zubia. As you can see here, this is a picture of our moon jellyfish. Classification. The moon jellyfish, in scientific name Aurelia aurelia, belongs to the domain Eukarya, Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Nymeria, Class Scyphozoa, Order Semeostome, Family Omeridae, Genus Aurelia, and Species Aurelia aurelia. The moon jellyfish belongs to the Phylum Nymeria because it has a sac like body with a mouth and tentacles. Also because of its double germ layer. Fun fact number one. The moon jellyfish is only 5% solid. Anatomy. As you can see from our 6 foot 1, 175 pound moon jellyfish, it has a translucent, soft and thick shell with short fringe like tentacles hanging from it. It also has, it also has four horseshoe shaped gonads seen to the top of the shell, as you can see from this picture. Also, it has radial symmetry. And the size is normally 25 to 40 centimeters in diameter, which means it'll be as wide as a ruler is long, if not long. And it is also only distinguishable by DNA because it looks so similar. You can only tell um, different species by their DNA. Respiration. Unlike most animals, the moon jellyfish does not have any specialized structures for respiration. Instead, it just gets its oxygen from diffusion through its thin membrane. Fun fact number two. The moon jellyfish got its name from its translucent belt, so that when light shines on it, it looks like a moon. Reproduction. The moon jellyfish is unique in that it reproduces both asexually and sexually. The reproduction cycle starts with two full-grown jellyfish, one being a male, the other being a female. The male jellyfish releases sperm into the surrounding waters, which finds its way into the female's ovule cavity. From there, it fertilizes the egg, and the egg grows into a larva that finds its way to the ocean floor. The larva that reaches the bottom of the floor turns into a polyp. Now, this is where the asexual reproduction happens. The polyp buds, and then at some point, when it is ready, an ephora is released. And the ephora is basically a baby jellyfish. And from then on, the baby jellyfish eats and eats and eats, and grows and grows and grows, until it is a full-grown jellyfish, and then the reproductive cycle happens again. If I spoke too fast, you can pause the video right now to see the reproduction cycle at your own pace. Why haven't you paused it yet? You should pause it now. Ecology. The moon jellyfish is located in the warm waters of North America and Europe. It inhabits one of the most diverse biomes on this earth, the ocean. The moon jellyfish has adapted to its environment in three different ways. The first one being a defense mechanism, and that is, it has venom in its tentacles. The second one being for oxygen. Its bell has large surface area because the only way it gets oxygen is through diffusion through the membrane, so having a larger membrane benefits the moon jellyfish. The third and last one is that it uses the currents in the water to move around because it doesn't have fins, so the only way it moves is just by the currents. The moon jellyfish is a carnivore, which means that it eats other organisms such as crustaceans, mollusks, or plankton. The moon jellyfish catches such prey by using its tentacles, and then it is tied down with mucus and brought to the gastrovascular cavity and passed into the cavity by ciliated actions. This is our food web for our jellyfish. There are two producers, two primary consumers, three secondary consumers, and three tertiary consumers. The arrows point to the direction of where the energy is flowing. And remember, the energy gets less and less and smaller and smaller as it goes up the food web. Fun fact number three. The moon jellyfish can shrink to one-tenth of its size when it is malnourished to save energy. Evolution. <laughs> the jellyfish has been known to be around on this earth for more than 600 million years. But I'm not here to talk about just jellyfish in general. We're not here to talk about the moon jellyfish. The moon jellyfish, there is not very clear evidence to know how exactly long, but scientists, um, they estimate that it's been around for millions, a few million years on this earth. This is an example of a fossil of a jellyfish that would be used to determine how long a species of jellyfish have been on this earth. The end. Time for some bloopers!
This food web could include sexually and sexually. The reproduction is literally go right over the hill. Look at that. As you can tell from our six foot one. <laughs> Wait. The moon jellyfish got its name from its transparency. So when the light shines on it, freaking fell. This is our food web for our jellyfish. The moon jellyfish got its name from its translucent belt, so that when the shine, the moon jellyfish gets oxygen by diffusing. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.